We're asked to write the linear inequality for each graph. To do this, we will first find the linear equation of the boundary line in slope-to-intercept form with the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the vertical or y-intercept. Then we'll determine the inequality based upon whether the boundary line is dashed or solid, as well as the direction of the shaded region. So looking at the first example, let's begin by identifying the vertical intercept or y-intercept, which would be this point here where the ordered pair is zero comma two. So now we know that b, the vertical intercept, is two. Now we'll select a second point to determine the slope. Let's select this point here, and now determine the slope by determining the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change. Notice how to go from the point on the left to the point on the right. We have to go up three units and then write one unit, and therefore the slope m is three divided by one, or just three. Which means the equation of the boundary line is y equals three x plus two. Now that we have the equation of the boundary line, we can determine the linear inequality. The linear inequality is going to be in the form of y, and then we'll have an inequality symbol, and on the right we'll have three x plus two. Well, because the boundary line is dashed, we know the inequality has to be either less than or greater than, and because the shaded region is below the line, the inequality is going to be less than. So the inequality is y is less than three x plus two. Just to make sure we did select the correct inequality though, let's check it by selecting a point in the shaded region. We can select any point that we want as long as it's not on the boundary line. So for example, let's select the point one comma zero, to check, we substitute one for x and zero for y. Performing the substitution gives us zero less than three times one plus two. Well, three times one plus two is five. Zero less than five is true, verifying we did select the correct inequality. Looking at our second example, once again, let's begin by determining the vertical or y-intercept, which is this point here. The vertical or y-intercept is three, with the ordered pair is zero comma three, and therefore b is equal to three. And that's to determine the slope. As our second point, let's use this point here. Going from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we go down two units, so the vertical change is negative two, and then we go right positive two, the horizontal change is positive two, and therefore the slope m is equal to negative two divided by positive two, which equals negative one. And therefore the equation of the boundary line is y equals negative one x plus three, or just y equals negative x plus three. Which means the inequality is going to be in the form of y, and then we'll have an inequality symbol. On the right we have negative x plus three. This time notice how the boundary line is solid, and therefore the inequality is going to be either less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. The equal part makes the boundary line solid. Notice here, because we are shading above the boundary line, we use the inequality greater than or equal to. So the inequality is y is greater than or equal to negative x plus three. And once again, let's go ahead and test this by selecting a point in the shaded region. Let's go ahead and select this point here where the ordered pair is five comma zero, which means we substitute five for x and zero for y, which gives us zero greater than or equal to negative five plus three. Negative five plus three is negative two, giving us zero is greater than or equal to negative two, which once again is true, verifying we did select the correct inequality. I hope you found this helpful.